I'm Andre J. Hey, I'm Star. And welcome to another episode of uh, Exploring the Video Synthesis Ecosphere. So what are we going to talk about today? So today we're going to talk about strobing, getting in and out of those sort of rapid fire effects that can occur when you're just feeling it and um, how to maneuver th throughout those situations. Yeah, so this is on the wave pool. Um, I guess you could probably get some strobing on the other ones too, but this is mm. definitely the most strobe friendly or strobe unfriendly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a little little box you could uh, play around with. Um, but yeah, so um, without going too far into it, anytime you've got video feedback going on, you've got a chance of some kind of strobing happening. Either mm -hmm. it's just like some transient effect that gets caught in a loop, or if it's you're in, playing around with inverted modes, but mm -hmm. um, there's basically three ways on the wave pool that you can get into like some strobing zones. And I just want to show y'all, there's some ways that you can use these to actually be pretty cool and do like some really unique and dynamic things. But ultimately, um, especially if you're performing live a lot, you want to be able to know how to get in and out of these modes because you don't want to fucking punish people. Definitely, because <laughs> we maybe. all know that... <laughs> <laughs> or maybe that's the effect, and yeah. that's the goal. But sometimes, I know for me, you know, I'm like doing stuff. I'm like, oh, I like how this effect looks. I like how that effect looks. And I'm turning stuff, and I'm not really looking at what I'm doing. And then all of a sudden, I can't even go back. It's like, zoom, 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 zoom. So, and then I'm I'm like, how do I get out of this quickly? Like, so I think this would be good to, 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 to figure out. Yeah, so what we're going to do now is Star's going to play around for a bit, and inevitably we're going to get into some kind of a strobe zone. <laughs> and mm -hmm. we'll kind of look at how, how we got into there and how we can get out of it. It's already starting to occur. Yep. <laughs> oh, once it starts to spin, it's all over. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there it is. Yeah, we got a little bit starting right there. Oh, and so. then this is when I'm like, oh, snap, how do, I, how do I get out of here? Okay, so I know exactly what's going on here. So what we got here is the temporal filter, and that's this one right here. So the temporal filter is like a multi-mode fil filter. So default, like, like pass-through, is going to be zero, and that's no filter mm. at all. If you turn it to the left that's going to be like a negative pass through and that's mm. sort of like think of that as like a high pass filter where it's going to amplify all of the kind of like um sharp noisy artifacting kind of things right. happening so if you turn that over to the right now and make sure it's like maybe at like three o'clock then yeah we get into like a very smooth smooth melty but yeah temporal filter is both your friend and your enemy when it comes to strobing <laughs> right and so just putting that back to neutral there it kind of fixes those problems yeah. okay yeah so most of the time all you like if you've got strobing happening in any other way you can try to just twist up the temporal filter and like smooth it out a bit something that i've also found is i know this this one specifically can can go there can take it there very quickly mm -hmm. but sometimes i find that i don't know which one it is but I can even be turning a different knob and it kind of creates the same effect where I'm like trying to get in and out of something and I'm like, oh, well, this one is, you know, out, everything's at at its home, but we still have that kind of flashing happening. Oh, so yeah. it's like, oh, do they do different combinations influence each other? Well, this is just so there's uh, the, 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 the second way that we can get in and out of strobing. So we've got the mix button right here and this mm. you can think of... Um, as like it's sort of like a fade when you're working with like a regular old video mixer and you got the t-bar and you do a fade wipe mm. and it just blends between it right but much like the temporal filter it'll uh it, it the pass through is right at noon here mm -hmm. so if we keep this at noon make sure the temporal filter is up there and then what happens is if you um turn it to the left mm. sorry i won't turn it to the left you can do it <laughs> Um, what this does is sort of like uh, subtractive mixing, and depending mm. on how much input video you have, right, it'll oh. subtractive mix with the input. So you see how my head's bobbing back and forth here, and it's sort of like is like an inverse color every single time. Right. If you pull the 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 delay back to like zero, all the way here. This one. Yeah. Then we'll see like some pretty. Ah, uh, this one. Oh. And we'll see sort of like. 
it'll do like color strobing, it'll do black and white strobing, and it'll do it kind of in a more like noisy, herky-jerky way than uh, anything else will do it. Hmm. So that's another way, it, it's pretty common to get into the, 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 the um, subtractive mixing strobing as well. Right. Um, but it's really fun to use, especially if you don't key anything in, like if we turn the keying all the way down. <laughs> Which one is that? That's right here. Ah. And then turn subtractive mix like all the way to max. Mm. That's right here. So you can see it's like fully subtracted. And right. And this weird kind of like uh, 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 blobby like right. uh, yellow. For some reason there's a lot of yellow in here. A lot mm -hmm. of yellow that lives in this zone. <laughs> if you find you really need some yellow in your And life. now we're kind of back. Yeah. <laughs> oh okay i feel like it's less daunting knowing kind of the inner workings of what you're doing because i feel like for so long i'm just like oh i can in my head i know what every you know knob does visually but the moment things start to get overwhelming i'm like oh crap i don't know which knob did that thing and then when i try to course correct that one i'm like <laughs> it, asked, it made something else go haywire so you know it's yeah y'all can fucking snowball real quick on this <laughs> for better or for worse definitely <laughs> it's a spiral quite literally <laughs> <laughs> but yeah and then there's one more strobe mode and this is the pretty much the most obvious one and that's black and white invert mm. so we hit that one and it pretty much you're not always going to get, like, unpleasant strobing, but it'll definitely, like, it definitely has the ability to come in and out. So mm. hitting, just turning this one on and off will definitely do a lot, but also we can find that, we turn it on, and then let's jack up the brightness a bunch, and let's key all of us out. So we'll just have the invert, uh... Where are we? here we'll lose all of us so you can see this can get pretty stroby yeah especially if we zoom in a bit and uh, ah. but if we go back up to the temporal filter, <laughs> <laughs> i'm scared i don't want the people at home to to lose it for hey, a second there's gonna be a big strobe warning on this uh, yeah we no, definitely okay no, cool no no avoiding that, that okay all right because i was like i see what's happening there but i don't want to <laughs> But it's kind of cool in this in this weird way. Yeah, I mean, if you get addicted to video feedback, then you're just gonna like sort of like build up a tolerance for strobing until you're just like, yeah, this is great, this is soothing. <laughs> but we can also turn the temporal filter up a bit, and then as soon as we just hit that sweet spot mm. with the temporal filter, we lose that strobing, and we right. get all the fun of working with this sort of pattern mode. Because once you start, let's like jack up all of these and start messing around with the geometry a bunch. Oh. And then you got all of this kind of nonsense you can play with. Woo! And oh, you don't have to I love that. About, yeah. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Then you don't have to worry about strobing. And you get all the fun of this specific mode. And also a lot of primary colors happening. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so what do you think? Do you, do, do you have any more questions about pain modes? or? <laughs> <laughs> I think that truly covers it. I mean... Just the, oh, okay. Let's see if let's <laughs> let's see what I've learned. Okay, see, I got us out. I got us out of the matrix. Um, yeah, I think that was a, a testament of of what I've learned. I think that having um, that kind of knowledge of the inner workings of what you're doing really helps um, getting in and out of situations, especially if. Um, they're accidental. If it's if you're not being intentional about the strobing that you're doing, um, and it's kind of more overwhelming than soothing to you, then I think <laughs> you know we gotta know how to get in and out of there. So I think it's 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 pretty good. Yeah, awesome roadmaps. <laughs> One more thing that we should talk about, and there's like some fun stuff you can do with this sort of like negative uh, filter mode. So ah. <laughs> <laughs> so if we take the temporal filter here and mm -hmm. just start to mix it negative just a tiny tiny bit try to find like and see 
So that's what I'm talking about. Mm. That's one of the main reasons I did. I wanted to add in a negative temporal filter is you get this effect, which is just like, mm. you don't quite get it from anything else. And it's sort of a lot like if you do like mixer feedback with a video enhancer, because negative mixing is sort of a real cheap and dirty kind of sharpen filter. Mm. Okay. But yeah, if you play with this one, if you jack up like saturation here, Then we get like all kinds of oh, weird shit. ass colors happening. I don't know what I just did. Ah, uh, rotation. It's all good. But yeah, it's it's definitely you're gonna be on the edge of strobing at all times. Right. So it's like walking it's, the line. It <laughs> seems like that. Like I seen like one. You know, you move this lever too much. Oh, now you're you're gone. You're <laughs> <laughs> you know you're completely out of it. And then in it. In yep. a way, too. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so fun, fun and pleasure with strobing, getting in and out. And yeah, the, the this is the one mode when you're using the temporal filter to make strobing, then you can't get out of it. And, right. And, but you just embrace it or don't. Like, right, exactly. So just knowing which is. ones, like, there was a point in time where I was considering putting a piece of tape on my Nano and being like, don't Can't go that far. touch. <laughs> yeah, because I was like, oh my gosh, I'll be like in a groove. And then I'm like, F you know, let's do some more stuff. Let's turn this and that. Let's bank, jank this up. And then all of a sudden I'm like, you know, I'm screen recording. And then it's just like, zoom, 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 and I'm like, no, my precious piece of work. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's like that. <laughs> but I, But I enjoy it. Yeah, you got to embrace it. What else can you do? <laughs> <laughs> or you can complain to me. I'm not going to change it. But no. you're always welcome to complain. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're not going to change it at all. I'll, and I'm just going to sit there like, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> just put the piece of tape. On the <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think that's probably it for this episode. Yes, it seems pretty good. I got a pretty good idea for a fade out here. So if we do this, and then... Let's wave goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Iconic. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and I'll see all y'all next time. And uh, we don't actually have a game plan for the next one, so please hit us up in the comments. Yeah. Let us know if you got questions on Wave Pool, Artificial Life, Spectral Mesh, Temporal Vortex, or even Phosphorum, even though nobody uses Phosphorum. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, I was like, who? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right, thanks a bunch, and have fun. Peace. All right, nice. I think that went.